if I have something, I know I only live for a hundred years, and then I don't know what's going to happen, but I'll tell you this. While I'm here for the time that I am, I want everything to be as good as it possibly can be. And I love sushi. Uh, I'm a fisherman. Uh, I don't work for the sewer. I don't work for the people that do this event. It's just my hobby. But I'm very uh, aware and very uh, up to date on tuna fish and quality. Uh, whatever I catch myself, I am very careful to take very good care of it so it can make the best possible sushi it can. What this event is about is the gentleman, uh, Mr. Nobu Ishida, who runs this event, only does it one uh, year. That's it. Yesterday, today, he brings fish in from Malta. This fish came from Malta. And uh, sometimes they'll come from different places. This particular fish came from Malta. It's 532 pounds as you're looking at it here. That means dress with the head on and off, you've added another 25%, so the fish would have been close to 700 pounds whole. But not all tuna fish are created equal. Uh, when I go out to a sushi restaurant and I look at the fish, it's very rare that I really see the quality that I'm looking for. That doesn't mean that it's bad fish, but when you go to a restaurant like Masa, like uh, Nobu in the city, like the Sushi Den, uh, Yasuda, there's something different. It's also why they charge 12 to $16 for one piece of uh, tar. Uh, they don't do it just because they want to rip you off. They do it because the quality of the fish that they're giving you is very different than the quality that you'll get at most of your local sushi restaurants. And what makes that different is fat content. If you look at the size of the belly of this fish, it looks very similar to me now. Uh, I have a lot of tar too. Uh, but what makes the fish good is the fat content of the fish, number one. Now that's not made by us, that's made by God, if you will, or Mother Nature. Uh, and that, uh, what Mr. Nobu does is he shops the world and he looks for those tuna that have the best fat content. They do it by cutting a section of the tail out over here. You see the way the tail is missing? And then they look to see, they feel with their fingers, and they look with their eyes, and they see what the fat content is. This one is absolutely incredible. Uh, now, the other thing is color. Uh, Americans have been brainwashed into thinking that that dark red color is the best fish. Oh, I want to see that red. That's not true. Because similar to a piece of beef, if you have a piece of meat and there's no graining in it, it's red red, and you don't see that marbling in it, well, it might look like a pretty color red, but the taste is going to be not great. Similar to this, don't be fooled. As a matter of fact, unfortunately, there are many companies now that are literally dying. You ever see that tuna that has that little orangey look, almost looks too good to be true? Well, that sometimes is done through dying and sometimes done through putting a gas in the fish, uh, you know, to change the color. The quality of this fish is as natural as can be. This fish was swimming last Sunday. Uh, so what happens? We get these fish, Mr. Noble takes them, this fish will be quartered, and for the price of a pound of this, I'm not even sure what it is, 50 whatever it is, dollars a pound. Oh man, that's crazy. That's not. When you think that you get 30, 40, some people 50 slices of sushi out of a pound, and if you're paying in a medium restaurant 5 or 6 dollars for a piece of taro, it's $300. In a better restaurant, it's more like uh, $800 for uh, uh, a pound if you, you know, so here, and again, this is no infomercial, I'm not, you know, come pulling out and telling you I got nice to sell to you. I'm telling you what I really believe, and it doesn't make a difference to me whether you buy it or not. But what it does is it gives you the ability to go home, make your own rice, cut your own sushi, which we did yesterday, and you will have... You will have Toro, or not, and by the way, don't concentrate on Toro. There are many people that don't like that. The Toro is also the belly of the fish, right here. This is 
call the big tall. The bottom loin on both sides is unbelievably fatty. Uh, some people uh, like medium tall, where it's not quite as fatty. And these fish are so incredible, there's no part of the meat that doesn't have a good fat content. I don't care what... Now, the fat builds up more on the uh, outer side when he comes